Okay, let's talk about Lorentz force. So the definition of Lorentz force is Q V cross B. So the, the cross product, basically you take those two, those two quantities, the vectors, and use right-hand rule to determine the, the orientation of it. And then technically, you, 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 will have, you, will, you will have the projection and then give a sine theta. But for, our, for the purpose of this class, we will only consider those two quantities are perfectly perpendicular. For instance, if we have a charge going from left to right, a positive charge with velocity v, and we have a magnetic field going into the chalkboard. Then we use our right hand rule, I mean, that's the best, best the hands I ever drew. So deal with that, I think that's good enough for illustration. So first across the first vector, v, and then second, across the second vector using the, the four fingers, v cross v, and your thumb will be the orientation of the force, which is gonna be this way, up. Ah. So for our experiment, we won't using the we won't look at the charge. Instead, we'll look at how a wire, a wire with a current, react to it. Basically, you can think of it as uh, multiple charges moving in the same direction. So basically, we add, add up the charges. We will have ended up having this a force is proportional to the to the direction of the current across the the magnetic field. So say if we have if we have a a uh, current flowing from left to right, it's a magnetic field from going from up to down. So try try to do the same thing as I did. So I cross B. So first for, uh, first across I and then across B, your thumb, which is pointing inside inside, will be the force. So once we turn on the voltage, the, the swing will go like this. 